my beautiful buddies and welcome back to the channel for a eco lifestyle kind of like news overview video like plus like how I feel about it um I just want to start off by saying um I am sorry guys that I didn't get a chance to do a reveal reaction to it um I like for the trailer I was dealing with um my final exam week and things like that um but that's all over now um and and I just like kind of like want to go and jump into this because there's a lot to go down um, and I kind of really didn't know how I felt about this at first and I still feel like I'm kind of like developing how I feel so we'll go go on with that but basically some things that you guys should know about this is that the pollution aspect will affect all of the worlds except for um, strangerville and the destination worlds which is really really cool i feel like that adds a lot because at first i was kind of like not really kind of i was kind of confused and like what made this really an expansion pack over a game pack like but now that i know that i feel like that adds a lot more to it um they're saying too um someone on twitter asked how many lots are we gonna get because they're probably like five and then sim guru frost replied with we'll have lots of lots for you some person was saying that they missed nectar making and from sim guru frost said i think you are going to enjoy what we what we give you um another sim guru said will ladders come with a free patch um update and Ladders will come with a come with a base game update, which is really really nice. Um, there will be some new ones though with Eco Lifestyle if you get it, and I really like that they're gonna add a f add like a few of them to base game because I feel like if you gotten like Teeny Living, that will come really really in handy with that pack. Um, and someone asked, are we gonna have missions like Strangerville? And this isn't like a Strangerville type pack where it's like more story driven. Um, but they are gonna do a live, not a live stream, and they'll like show it things off. Um, you can place ladders wherever you want, <laughs> um, and there are all kinds of fun, the fun bits that they are gonna go on the live stream. I'm like reading this as I as I like talk to you guys, um, and also too, there is this like worm. Thing that a lot of people including myself thought was a chicken that is like a similar box to the one that we got in seasons with the bees um but yeah that was really really funny there's also too this like growing meat wall it's it wasn't included i'm not sure if it's included in the trailer somewhere because i must have missed it or if it was just something that was like shown off <laughs> afterwards but it was so weird and people were just like what is this is it a plant is like it like a meat plant like in the sims 3 is this just like a slab of meat like what is this so that was really kind of funny um and <laughs> there are new community spaces that can be set in the world too um and i also have a list of new features that are going to be in the eco lifestyle because the interesting thing about like the eco lifestyle pack is that i think it was kind of like born out of the whole laundry day um idea because if you guys remember back that laundry day was a was a thing a lot of people on twitter especially um were saying how much they wanted eco light and like an eco type stuff pack and i think they may have thought of all the ideas from it and then just decided to make it like an expansion pack which is i think is kind of like how this was kind of made um and back in 2017 i want to say there was like a survey going around and that they were interested in doing like more eco things kind of similar to the one that we got rather recently about doing more like with life states so i feel like that's where all this eco kind of pack stuff is like kind of came along like eco lifestyle um teeny living um laundry day i think they're all kind of like go under that kind of umbrella um but yeah some things because i'm reading this from from the sims community so some things that they think that could that could be included are syrup from tree saps um i'm not really sure about that one that would be quite interesting um I'm like looking at the things that are confirmed okay yeah a well water slash well well pumped is confirmed bill reduction is confirmed um 
there are going to be litter bug NPCs. Um, solar panels are confirmed and solar roof tiles are confirmed, which is really interesting because I wonder if that kind of like goes into like lowering your bills or not. I think that's really cool because I think there are a couple in by debug right now, but aren't, aren't usable. Um, wind turbines are going to be confirmed. I actually have no idea what those are for, so if any of you guys are more into that kind of eco life, you guys can inform me what they're actually for. Um, tree shaped wind solar, um, which is also really, really cool. I'm guessing those like are solar, like a different kind of solar panels. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, as far as like those like bug thingies, I'm not sure if that's considered composting or if it's something else again you guys could tell me more about it because i don't know really um he also says on the sims community that freegans is confirmed which i have no idea what what that is um raw food is confirmed um jarring slash canning is confirmed which sounds really awesome i'm really excited about that and i'm really about the candle making um there's also wild weed gardening um somewhat introduced with seasons um also too there are vertical and hanging gardens which is going to be so cool for um those of you guys who have city living because it will be easier to garden like on your like rooftops kind of thing not your rooftops your balconies um, there is also, um, oh, the box vegetable garden recycling is going to, is going to come, um, and grass roofs, um, which I guess we kind of have grass roofs in kind of a way, like with the island pack, like the whole like tiki thing, but that's like a different kind of style, I guess. Candle making, like I said, um, and community gardens, where we're going to have eco living activists. I'm not sure if that's going to be a career or not. Um, we are also going to get a, we may get like a, a like huge revamp with the off the, well, with off the grid lot, lot trait, because we already currently have it, but I'm curious to see if they would do, like do a new kind of update for it um um and nectar making um i'm guessing too is like what they is like what they said so with this in mind i kind of have to like sit back and think about this like how do i really feel about this and personally i don't know if i can really say if this is a thumbs up or some thumbs down for me right now because i don't feel like i know enough at this current moment to really like say without playing it whether I like it or dislike it is this something personally that um I'd play with every day in my game probably not I'm more of a family player I like and if I'm not playing with families I really like drama and all that kind of stuff I like families with drama you guys know me I'm a builder I'm a creative sim person um so I'm not really curious I'm like curious to see too like how this affects other worlds because i because i really think that's kind of cool because i kind of think in that kind of aspect it kind of ties into seasons a little bit like how seasons like affect all the worlds obviously um the only thing that i'm like kind of like wondering too is how many is this is this like gonna be like the end of like all of our eco packs or not um because they say to the pollution um if you don't want it affecting the world you can turn it off in the settings menu so if you have a family that never wants to deal with that um that's an option too um but yeah i was like kind of like thinking it in like comparison to like island living that already kind of had like the like eco kind of like nature kind of thing going on with it but i think ultimately the difference is is that this pack revolves around your sim as a community making an effort rather than it was up to you in island living to like make the island pretty so i think that's ultimately the difference of this pack um however i'm just like wondering how it kind of like is gonna hold up like for instance like i feel like get together is a pack that many people were kind of like confused about but in the end it ended up being um a pack that everybody really really liked so 
I kind of wondering if it's going to be a case of that or if it's going to be like an okay pack or or if people are really going to like it because I really see like mixed reactions right now to it. So that's why I'm like not giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down right now. Um, I'm sure I will like it because I'm someone who since I play Sims a lot, like I generally, like I generally like the packs. Like even if it's not completely my niche, there are things of the packs that I really, really like about it. Um, either way, but yeah, I'm like curious to see um, in like the gameplay aspect if I like it because I already kind of seen from some of the preview screens and things like that. Some of the new items, like build by items, seem like really cool. So I know I like it in that kind of regard, especially too with the whole kind of like, um, kind of like constructed kind of furniture kind of thing. It'll be kind of fun for maybe like, um, lower end households. Cause I feel like The Sims, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of like goes into like, patterns for a while like I remember when it was new it kind of went into a pattern where it kind of like put up like the party lifestyle and then like stuff for like your really really richer sims and then I feel like for a while I went maybe like dipped like a teeny bit into like family lifestyle like a teeny bit um and then it kind of like went into this ego kind of pack so I'm like curious to see if they're gonna like maybe make a new era of it like does anybody else see that is am i the only one that like sees that like to kind of like go into kind of patterns like with things that they work on for a while then they move on to things um but yeah i don't know i i'm still kind of like deciding how i feel i don't really know how i feel yet about it really to be honest um i'm, I'm sure it's going to be beautifully well made const like, constructed like no matter like how the gameplay is because i feel like they're really really good at world making the world looks beautiful already um and i really like the items and things like that i just don't know about like the gameplay and kind of like the overall kind of not point of it because obviously we know the point of it it's like eco lifestyle but i'm just like seeing like how it's all like ties together like that's kind of like where i'm kind of like i don't know yet you know <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna wait till i get my hands on it till i give it like a final verdict but i'm curious to see what you guys think of it down below um but yeah i'm i'm optimistic that'll that'll be a, that it's gonna be like a good one um we just kind of have to wait and see i guess or not um but yeah please guys come comment um write and subscribe and tell me your thoughts below i'm curious because i think there is like a lot of like mixed reaction and i do think some people are being a little negative about it but yeah i like to tell people like give it a chance give it a chance before you knock it <laughs> um and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon okay bye bye bye